This is a zip line we built a few years ago in the backyard. It goes out into the woods. It's going to show you guys how to build one of these if you want to. So you can take a look at this video and see what uh, what might work for you. It might uh, be pretty easy to build. Uh, this is a I believe an 18 inch turnbuckle. I'll put the uh, web address in the a comment so you can see where to get them. Uh, and these are uh, what, you, what are called Crosby clamps or wire rope clamps. Um, I believe only two were needed but we put three on there just to make sure that it was going to hold. And then at this end, other end of the turnbuckle, you've got um, the uh, piece that goes around the tree. You see there's three clamps on it as well and three clamps are on the other side too. And then that wraps around the tree. We've got a couple blocks on the tree to protect it so you're not chewing up the bark on the tree and making spots where uh, insects can get in there and rot the tree and then your zip line is not very safe. So we got that on there. This zip line goes uh, 180 feet out across uh, this uh, little valley we've got here and um, it's a nine foot drop over 180 feet. It gives you a pretty good ride. It's not uh, super fast and it's not uh, too slow either. Um, a drop of more than uh, you know nine feet over 180 feet would probably give you a real fast ride and uh, this one we just use our hands to break on. You just uh, grab the cable behind the uh, the pulley and that's how you break. We use a lot thicker gloves than this when we do it. But um, that's the basics of the construction. Um, this is uh, 180 feet. I think this is uh, 3 8 cable. Yeah, something like that. I think that's 3 8 cable. Okay, this is another view of um, the uh, second zip line that we have. And this way you can get a better idea of the construction, um, how it's put together, um, how the Crosby clamps are, and the uh, eyelets, and uh, this um, turnbuckle. It's a 3 quarter inch turnbuckle. You can see right there, 3 quarter. Um, I can't remember what the working load is, but it's it's really more than what you need here. Uh, we just wanted a really nice long turnbuckle so you've got a lot of adjustability. Because um, hooking up the zip line to the turnbuckle to here is the tough part. But then uh, what you do is you, um, before you hook it up, you loosen the turnbuckle completely. And then uh, hook the line in right there. And then you tighten up the turnbuckle to get the tension you need. And there's another one at the other end. So you've got... Uh, Altogether, about uh, 36 inches of adjustability, and that's really all you need. This one, uh, this line is a, is about 170 feet, and uh, with 36 inches of adjustability, that's enough to get all the tension you need in this line. Um, it might not seem like much, uh, but really, all you need is these two turnbuckles to uh, to adjust it, and that gives you all the tension. Whoops, that you need. Um, this one goes around a bigger tree, and we've got uh, blocks around the tree, just like on the other one. So it protects the tree and kind of spreads the load so that it's not all just against the back of the tree. It kind of spreads the load over to here as well because you're widening out that cable. All right, this is a little video to show the, the rig we've got set up. Uh, this is a, a Petzl tandem pulley that uh, I'll put the uh, place where you can get that from Car Sports. We've got a um, easy to use carabiner here, a nice little Petzl lanyard, another carabiner here, and um, just a standard uh, climbing harness uh, for me. And uh, the way this particular zip line works is as you go down the line, your brakes are uh, just big thick gloves. You just drag them on the line that slows you down. So uh, let's take a ride. Here we go. Just like that. Okay, one last ride. Ready? Bye. Here we go. I think he's going a little faster with the weight. Yeah, he's going faster than he was before.